Welcome to Scrapbook My Life, where I tell you an embarrassing story to stop you from making the same embarrassing mistakes I did. Passing period is the worst. It's not quite long enough to do anything fun, but it is somehow long enough for bad things to happen. But I didn't always used to feel this way. In fact, there was a time when I loved passing period. I was in sixth grade. That year, my friends and I all had lockers near each other. Every time the bell rang after class, my heart would skip a little beat. I'd pack up all my stuff super quick so I could get to my locker and get a couple of good jokes in with my friends before my next class. Back then, I actually liked passing period so much that I wanted to figure out how to pack as much into it as I possibly could. If I could just minimize the amount of time it took me to get to my next class, I could maximize the amount of time I got to spend with my friends in my locker. I planned the fastest routes. I wore super good running shoes to school. I even started making a little competition with myself, timing how long it took me to get to class and seeing if I could beat my previous time every day. My friend Ashley warned me I was playing a dangerous game trying to make getting to class a race. She said there was a reason that passing period wasn't recess. Who did she think she was? The passing period princess? Her classes were all close together. She didn't get what it was like to have your classes spread out all over campus. I wasn't going to let the amount of ground that I had to cover stop me from getting to spend as much time at the lockers as Ashley did. I had been timing myself for a couple weeks and I'd gotten my locker to class time down to 27 seconds. It was right before the last class of the day. I hung out at my locker for exactly four minutes and 34 seconds, giving myself 26 seconds to get to class and giving myself no choice but to beat my record. It was time. I took off full speed down the hallway. I knew how I was going to shave off that one second. I usually paused at the top of the stairs before going down, but I could skip that. There was a handrail anyway. What would I need to stop for? When I got to the stairs, I didn't even slow down. I grabbed the handrail and kept sailing towards class. I was almost at the bottom. I was going to make it. But there was one little thing that I didn't plan for. A candy wrapper someone had dropped on the bottom step. My foot hit it. I felt myself slip. I grabbed on even tighter to the handrail, but I had so much momentum from not stopping at the top of the stairs that there was nothing the handrail could do to help me. My foot flew out from under me. My whole body fell backwards. I desperately grabbed for anything that could possibly keep me up. My hand closed around something, but whatever it was wasn't enough to stop my fall. I fell to the ground, but when I looked up, no one was staring at me. They were all staring at something behind me. I turned my head to look. That thing that I had desperately grabbed was the pants of the guy standing behind me. I had accidentally pantsed him in front of everybody. No one was staring at me because they were all staring at his rubber ducky boxers. He looked horrified. I felt horrible. My rush to class had caused him to have what I'm sure was the worst day of his life. I bought him lunch every day for the next two weeks to make up for it. Talking to your friends is fun, and they'll still be there at lunch. Always give yourself enough time to get to class. That way, you never have to find out what boxers the guy behind you on the stairs decided to wear today.